the last of the six days. Everyone, including me, can't wait to get back to comfort luxuries. We've got a three hour hike, straight road all the way, no downhills. Should be an easy one. And then from there, we catch the ferry across to Lake St. Clair and a three hour bus ride back to Crater Mountain. Big ass tree. Logging out for the last time. Yeah, man. Done. Can and then take Drew Malaysia able six. To see the Platypus. Ah. Cool. Let's, Platypus. let's go get our sits. Thank you. Get our sits. <laughs> last leg of the journey. The bus back to Crater Mountain. Back to day one. Our caravan still there. Can you put this somewhere for me? Flat. Back to the caravan. Time to head to the park. Get outside. Wash up. Cook dinner. And enjoy the rest of the day. In comfort. With my pillow, my mattress, my warm, warm showers and good food. Let's go. So if you remember we missed our flight on the way here and we didn't get to go to Sydney so this guy this guy and this guy all want to go to Sydney <laughs> so right now they're checking flights yes payment successful first of all third ticket successful one two yeah no more miss flight three <laughs> All going to Sydney, yeah. and they're joining me, Sarah. That's it for so the night. So we need to ask Nana what she wants. What's up, everybody? I've been getting a lot of questions about the track, so I'll use this opportunity right here to have my first ever Q and A to answer your questions. First question, what's up with the sunnies? Uh, I have droopy eyes, so when I should be looking there, I tend to look there and there. This helps me look less awkward. Next question, why do you willingly put yourself through so much fatigue? Um, three things. Number one, I really enjoy disconnecting from the world and this gives me the opportunity to do so. There are no distractions. I'm totally with myself and with my friends. Which brings me to point number two. It allows me to bond with the people I'm with. Um, there's no Facebook, there's no YouTube, there's no Instagram, there's nothing. You don't, you, don't, you don't have reception out there. So you generally just bond more and better with the, peop uh, with the people you're with. And the third thing is the thrill of discovery and adventure. I started off with taking photos and tracks gave me a good opportunity to take photos and capture moments that not many people have done before and I really enjoyed it and that's why I kept going at it. Would I do it again? Yes, of course I'd do it again. I think if you ask any 
of the other five all of them would say yes and Vincent maybe would say maybe maybe don't know yes I think it's a yes and toilets what was the situation like we had compost toilets um, they're pretty well maintained clean so no issues no biggie last question what was most memorable um, it was definitely the people we met on the trip and one person in particular would be Tindero. He's the Italian guy who didn't speak much English but took all the effort it required to form a relationship and I think that relationship um, turned into a really close friendship just over three days and we've been in touch since on Facebook. Thank you Facebook. Anyway, those are all the questions that uh, I found interesting and uh, people were asking me. So if, any, if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll get to them, but for now, that's it. First ever Q&A done. Yay, we're here! Ah! <laughs>